I think it's important to give students an opportunity to uh, get to know the instructor. Um, because especially in a fully online course, there is a sense where the students uh, may not feel connected to the instructor. So this is an opportunity to make that connection uh, from the instructor to the students. Um, it makes the students feel uh, that there's a, someone there on the other end, uh, that there's someone they can connect with as, as, a, as a human being. Um, I think it's also a great opportunity for the instructor to show a little bit of their personality. Um, a lot of times uh, students' experiences when taking a course, whether it's face-to-face -face or fully online, a big part of that is that connection they make with the instructor. So we want to make sure that even though this course is happening online, that there's still that opportunity to make that connection. Some specific ways that we've recommended that instructors do this, first of all, is to have an introduction video. So this is something the student would see day one. They can see their instructor, they get a welcome, uh, that's, that's really important. The other thing that we recommend instructors do is on a regular basis uh, to insert uh, video, maybe in each module, something to just kind of check in with the students, give some comments on the content that's coming up, maybe even answer a question that had been asked um, during that semester. This again makes the students feel connected to the instructor. I can't think of a, of a pitfall off the top of my, of my head to allow students the opportunity to get to know their instructor. Um, I don't see it as distracting, even if the instructor really lets some of their personality through. Um, I, can, I can remember an example of an instructor who, um, it was an accident, but they had their, their dog kind of jump into the room. Um, and they kept it in the video and the students loved it. And then the dog kind of became part of these weekly videos and the students looked forward to that. So I'm trying to think of an example that um, would be outlandish where you wouldn't want the instructor to really, you know, have their, uh, their presence out there in the, in the course. And I can't think of one because I think they all just contribute to that, that connection to the student.